Yep, we're going to have a little notoriety for one rider. It's Real filming now. In the race, Red one? Yeah, I see it's rider of the race. And it's a guy who early in the race laid it on the line. Had one of the big advantages on a solo attack. And he's a local boy, so we'd love to see that. Out of Rock Falls. He lives over there in uh, Sterling now. Jelly Belly professional rider. Bryce Mead, folks. Bryce Mead, aggressive rider of the race. Got a t-shirt here. Tim West radio cyclic show. We're going to talk about him on the radio show, and uh, he's going to be famous all around the world. So you got that to stand on the side of the podium there. Get away. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bryce Mead is our aggressive rider. I would normally have a second rider here that isn't on the podium for the sprint competition, but we're going to save that because our sprint winner was second, so we'll get to that in a minute. Third place in the race, though, a guy who, as I said, raced in ladies and men's one of the best domestic pro teams in the U.S. He's been tearing it up for over 25 years, one of the best in the race, 48 years old. Trek Store Shimano, Topeka, Kansas, Steve Topher. Steve, uh, I mean that genuinely. I mean, Swim Weenies back in the day, world mountain biking success. But, I mean, this is just a great Midwest uh, legendary race. Topeka, Kansas, I know you're out here, you're in and you're out. Third place, does that rank up there as one of your better races at this event? Uh, yeah, it's one of the better races, but you know, you want to win, so, you know, Eric's made the right move for the last two years, and it's, uh, it's a little frustrating for the rest of us. A little frustrating for the rest of us, right? I mean, Eric Marcotte's got a devastating sprint. Talk to us about all the teamwork on that. I know you might have a teammate or two in there, but it seems like Bianchi Grand Performance, Texas Roadhouse, APD, they're all kind of battling each other. Is that something that you benefit from then? Well, sure, you got to watch what's going on with the teams, but, you know, everybody's got a designated sprinter, you know. I mean, all the guys here know who are all good, everybody else is, so it's not any surprise here. Uh, you know, we don't really have anybody in sprints. I mean, you know, I can sprint okay, but I'm not as fast as these guys. So I have to deal with positioning and uh, tactics. And, you know, I, I pretty much go into the second to last corner, and that's where I finish. I'll tell you why you do do it with uh, experience and tactics. Here's a man with 25 years experience at the highest level. Steve Telford, your third place, 2008. All right, Fox City Bike Club, two up a thousand dollars, five hundred of which goes to the winner of the sprint competition. This man placed in all the sprints, winning one of them. Chad Hartley, second place, won two of them. One was pretty easy. Won two of them. Chad Hartley takes the sprint competition and still has enough in the tank. Taking second for Jerry goes. Chad, uh, fantastic performance. What what can be done about getting to Eric Marcotte? I mean, I mean, maybe just skip the sprint competition next year so you have a little more in the legs, or what? Uh, the, the way it was working out, uh, Texas was leading out, and um, I was sitting on Cool House, and uh, Eric came up. Oh, get on my wheel! So I was like, oh, perfect. And I just got smart off the pole. And then on the back straight, uh, one of the Texas guys kind of sat up, and before I knew it, he already had, you know, 10 bike lengths, and there's, there's no catching him once he had that 300 meters to go. So I, was, I was closing in, but I just ran out of, ran out of room. All right, so for the kids here, let them understand, you're a professional bike racer, you race your bike for a living. Uh, name some of the countries or some of the states you've been racing in this year or in years past. Oh, uh, well, every, every continent, I've raced in uh, China, I've lived in Spain, raced all over South America, um, all over Europe, America, going to Canada next week, so all over the world. One of the best in the country, Chad Hartley, dinner and toast, kids. You can do it, we've got some flowers here as well. Thanks to our Miller Lite girls here that Brittany is giving that and uh, Lonnie's going to present to our race winner, Bianchi Grand Performance. One of the two strong teams, Texas Roadhouse took its own hand, but this team, nothing to lose to be shy about. This guy lined it up and he took the sprint. Ten bike lengths going on, Chad Hartley couldn't catch him. Wearing number one, he was marks all day long, Eric Marcotte! <laughs> Got some flowers here for you from Lonnie. Eric, that's uh, two years in a row. I mean, wow. This could be the start of something big. Uh, yeah, it was uh, a big event, right? Um, just like last year, you want to keep an eye on the big engines and uh, just make sure you're uh, representing the brakes. And then Texas leaving it out, like Chad said, uh, I think there was a little bit of communication that I got on the right video and the uh, gap already and everything punched it. So, pretty good. It's a fantastic result. And uh, the team is looking really good. You guys did a great race. What are we going to see for you guys the rest of the season? And uh, personally for you, what are your ambitions with cycling now? Uh, I just put my 
job in Michigan, and uh, so I'm going to bike a little bit. Uh, we're heading down to Tulsa um, this next weekend, and we'll see what happens out there. Big race down in Tulsa next week, and Eric Marcotti is going to give it a little go. Bike riding full time. How about it for Bryce Mead, Chief Tufford, Chad Hartley, and Eric Marcotti, your 2008 champion of the Park City Kites area. Thank you, everybody. Hope everybody had a great time. You guys want to see this race back next year? Good job, man. Come on, the mayor's listening. You want this bike race again next year? Hey, next year I'll get a podium girl to give you the t-shirt. I hate this one. Volunteers and officials.